Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMadeVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can use a keyboard and mouse on a Nintendo Switch. Now you might have already seen my quick video where I showed Zelda and also Doom working. Well in this video today I'm going to show you the actual setup of it. So just to show you it quickly working up on screen just in case you haven't seen it yet. If you have a look here you can see when I move the cursor buttons here that it is moving around up on screen and also if I was to do the WASD you can also see it moving. And depending on how you have it set up will depend on what you do. So for example left shift I've got set up for A and I've got space for B. And again my mouse is set up to do the right analog stick. So now if I move down you can see it's moving around. So, depending on the game will depend on the settings you do. You can map any button you want to do anything you want. So, for example, if you want B to be left click, you can do that. If you want A to be right click, you can do that. If you want X to be up on the scroll wheel, you can do that. If you want Y to be down on the scroll wheel, you can do that. Again, you've got buttons on the side of a mouse. If you've got a game in mouse that you can also utilize. Different games will warrant different inputs. For example, if you're playing Mario Kart, you might be happy to use the WASD, so accelerate, brake, left and right. And then to use your power-up weapon, you might want to do left click, and then to drift around corners, you might want to do right click. But then on Zelda, you might want a different lot of setups. So for example, you might want spacebar to be jump. You might want shift here to be sprint. You might want left click to be attack. Different games will warrant a different setup, but you can change everything on here and then you can have your configuration set for each game. So for example, I've got a configuration set for Zelda and then I've got a different configuration set for Doom. But that's up to you. You might want to just get used to one lot of controls and then you can keep them just like you use your Pro Controller. You will always know then that this button here is, for example, your right clicking on the analog stick. And you might know that in here is always going to be ZR, for example. Now, I'm going to first of all show you the adapters you need and then I'm going to show you the laptop side of things. So we have a wireless mouse and a wired keyboard and they have to go through a laptop or a desktop PC in order for your Nintendo Switch to understand the inputs. Unfortunately, you can't just plug them straight into the Switch and expect it to work. It's not going to happen. Now, you would expect there to be loads of lag when you do this, but you know what? It doesn't appear to be. It seems to work just fine. So what happens is, this little laptop, this little GPD pocket, I've only got the one USB port here, so I've attached it to a little USB hub, just a very cheap little hub. So into that I have my wired keyboard into the hub, and then I've got my little wireless mouse adapter into that as well. Then from this port here, it comes out and it goes into a Cronus Max Plus. Now this is the thing where I can put the computer inputs into this, but this can't plug directly into the switch because this doesn't recognize the switch. So I then have to put the Cronus Max Plus into a Wii U, a PS4, PS3 to Wii U Brook Converter. So I'm going to just quickly show you the two boxes of these so it will make more sense. You can find them on Amazon and eBay. So here we have the Brook Game Controller Super Converter and it's a PS3, PS4 to Wii U controller adapter. And here we have the Cronus Max Plus. You're looking roughly around £50 for the Cronus Max and about £30 for the Brook Converter. So from here, we could just plug this straight into the Nintendo Switch, but I like using it via a little extension cable here so then that all this pressure here isn't bearing down on my USB port there. Now the good thing about this is it doesn't have to actually be wired into the dock. This connects with the Nintendo Switch itself via Bluetooth. So even if we were to take this out here, it will still connect up via this one here. So with this here, you can plug this into any USB charger you like. So you know your phone charger, you can plug that into there. And then as long as it's in Bluetooth range off the Nintendo Switch, then it's gonna work fine. So you don't have to have this anywhere near the dock. You can use this in tabletop mode and still use your keyboard and mouse on it. Now, when it comes to the software, when you get your Cronus Max, you're gonna download Cronus Pro here. And all we need to do is we need to go up to plugins and we're gonna to go to something called X-Aim and click on that. And now it says that you must run it as admin. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this bit while it opens it up again as admin. 
And there we go, this is X-Aim here. Now I've already set it up for, I've labeled it as Doom for Switch. So you can open up a new one, so you can go to File and you can go to New Layout, and then you can choose the look of either a PS4 controller or an Xbox controller. So now you see this is a PS4 controller, and then all we have to do is hover over each of the empty boxes. It's all self-explanatory. So for example, this here would be your right trigger, the ZR on a Pro controller, and we just right-click, not left-click, but right-click on that, and it asks us, do we want to do a keystroke or do we want to do a mouse button? So if we want to do a keystroke, we just left-click on that, and then we're going to enter in the keystroke. So for example, over here on my keyboard, I can press spacebar. And now, if you have a look closely, it's going to say space. And then let's say if we want to our right button, we just right click on that. And now pretend we want to do a mouse action for that one. Let's pretend now we want to do the left click. And you can see it's labeled it as number one. So then you're just going to go all the way through the settings here and have it set up how you want. Then if you want to get your mouse sensitivity correct, go to layout options and go to mouse settings. And this is where you can change all the dead zone, the smoothness, the acceleration, the radius, the speed, etc. So you can play around with all these settings until you feel comfortable with how your mouse is reacting up on screen. Now if you want to watch a very good video on it, there's already one on YouTube. It's about 25 minutes long and it's basically how to set up a mouse and a keyboard on the Cronus Max and it goes into loads of different detail on each of these settings. And then when you fill that order boxes, you're just going to click on where it says enter capture mode here. And that's then going to make it live. And then whatever I do on my mouse and keyboard will now work up on screen there. And then when you're finished with it and you want to make more adjustments, you need to get out of capture mode. So you need to go to control and escape. So here, because I'm using a laptop and a keyboard, I can either do it on the keyboard or the laptop and that exits it. So basically, that is that one there. So let me just close that down and so what you will do then is you will have different configurations for different ones. So for example, I've got X aim for Zelda, X aim for Mario Kart, and X aim for Doom as well. So if I was to click on Doom, Right, so here you go, these are the settings that I've used, but obviously you will want to use whatever you want to use. So I've got a mixture of mouse buttons up here, and I've also got a mixture of you know, WASD, and then I'm using the right analog stick, I'm using the mouse up, down, left and right, and you can see where all the numbers are, that's where I'm using actual mouse buttons, and then for B, I'm using space, and for A, I'm using the left shift key. So right now, because I haven't entered capture mode, nothing's actually happening up on screen, my mouse is still moving the actual screen here, but if I left click on enter capture mode, you can now see that my mouse is moving up on screen, or again, I can use the keys on the keyboard. Now with the Brook Converter to get it working to begin with, what you need to do is, you've got your computer set up like this and you've done all the computer side. Now with the Brook Converter, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get your PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 controller, or I can also use other controllers like just normal PC controllers that you can get for £10, just basic ones. And we're going to have to get this to pair up with the Nintendo Switch. So every time we turn this on, we're going to have to pair this up with here. Then once we've paired this up with here via Bluetooth, then we can plug the Cronus Max into here. So right now, I need to get to the controller set in here. So I'm just going to take this out off the dock and I'm just going to go to controllers there and I'm going to go to the change grip order screen. So that's the screen you want to have it on, otherwise it's not going to work. So put it on that screen and then you can put it back in the dock, you don't have to, but you can do. And then what I'm going to do is, it doesn't always work first time, but I need to do a series of buttons on here to get it into pairing mode and those buttons are as follows. I'm going to hit these two here, so the left and down on the D-pad, I'm going to hit the X and the square here, and I'm going to hit L1 all at the same time. It doesn't matter if you do it in stages, there, there and there, but as long as eventually you're hitting them all like that, keep holding them down for a good 10 to 15 seconds, and then what should happen is this here should start flashing. Now, I can tell it's not going to work right now because it's flashing erratically. You can see now that it's just flashing every now and then. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unplug it. It doesn't always work first time and then I'm going to plug it in again. So now you can see that I've got the solid green light on here. I need that to start flashing on and off like that for it to go into pairing mode. So now I'm going to try it again. 
holding all these buttons down. There you go. Can you see now it's in pairing mode? And now it's going to keep doing that for about 10 or 15 seconds and then it's going to come up on screen. There we go, it's come up on screen now. And now it's gone to solid green. So right now, this is now paired with the Nintendo Switch. So I'm just going to get out of that by hitting that and then just going back to a home screen. Whatever you do, do not go back to that change grip order screen because if you go back to the change grip order screen you probably can do it via your keyboard but it's going to be really hard to hit these two buttons, these two buttons and this button all at the same time. So it's just easier to do it with your controller and then it's set up. Now don't go back to that change grip order screen, you don't need to. From now on all we have to do is unplug that there and plug our Cronus Max back into the Brook adapter. We can now get rid of the PlayStation 4 controller, we don't need it for verification or anything like that. From now on in we can do everything we want to do with just our mouse and our keyboard. So there you go, you can see that it's working again now. And then if you finish playing with Doom and then you want to play some Zelda and you want to use a different layout for Zelda, then you don't have to go and sync anything up again. All you need to do is press Control and Escape on your keyboard to get rid of the capture mode. And then we just need to change the settings here from at the moment is Doom for Switch. I'm going to change this to whatever you've named it to. So here we go, Zelda BOTW Breath of the Wild Switch Keys. That's what I've called this one. And then enter capture mode. And then I will have a different lot of keys on that particular setup. So beforehand I had this one set up here on Doom for ZR. Well now this one here is going to mimic B. And this one here is going to mimic a, because that suits the controls of Zelda more, in my opinion, but you're going to have a different opinion on that. So there you go, that's how you use your keyboard and mouse on the Nintendo Switch. It's far from straightforward, but once you get it set up, and if you already have these adapters, I wouldn't expect you to go out and spend all this money on the adapters for the sake of one game. But if you already have these adapters and then you want to use it on the Switch, then once you go through the initial setup, it is very straightforward from then on in. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.